Hi, I'm Jim Jubeck, and welcome to my YouTube video for Wednesday, February 8th. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get a notification of when we do the next one. We're doing about three weeks, but not always on the same day. Um, if you want more of my stuff, uh, including three portfolios where I track stocks, you can go to my free site, that's jubeckpicks.com. If you want six portfolios, including some ETFs and options, you go to my paid site, that's jubeckam.com, uh, and you'll find that stuff down below. Okay, here's the topic for today. Why March 22nd is the next big date. Big date for the markets, big date for interest rates. It's the date of the next Fed meeting. Um, but the really important thing is that it's also the first update of the Fed's projections about where interest rates are going to peak um, since December. And the market has been playing catch up. Um, that the market, which was thinking that the Fed was, was uh, being too aggressive about where it said rates would peak, at about 5, 5, 10, um, after the big uh, surge in job numbers in January has basically fallen in line with the Fed. So that right now, uh, as of February 7th, uh, the market is pricing in a 25 basis point uh, increase in March, a 25 basis point in May, and peak in June or July at almost exactly 5.12, which, as I said, almost exactly, because that's what the Fed was talking about in December. So that's up from uh, a peak projection of 4.9% on the 2nd of February. Why this is important is because the, the market is basically saying, hey, when we hit this peak, then the Fed will pause uh, and then take rates down again. So, and lower rates would be very good for stocks. So basically it's a, a consensus opinion of when we're going to start to see rate cuts. And the consensus was that we're going to see it. It used to be uh, like five or six days ago that, that March was going to be the last one, maybe May, but we were going to see an end to rate increases in June or July. That was where the peak was going to be. Now the market is rethinking. Uh, market is starting to question that assumption. But until we get the Fed saying, hey, not, not 5.12, but maybe 5.25 or something like that, I don't think we're going to see the market's assumption of peak rates coming up. So we're moving to a kind of equilibrium. The next big data point, um, that data date, if you will, that could upset that equilibrium comes on March 22nd when the Fed meets. Uh, watch that dot plot. Um, and until then, I think we're going to see the market go nee, 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 nee. Uh, a technical term for moving nowhere. Thanks very much for watching. This has been Jim Juback. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get a notification when we do the next one. Uh, if you want more of my stuff, including three portfolios um, that include uh, long term as well as dividends, uh, and then a 12 to 18 month portfolio, go to my free site. That's jubeckpicks.com. Uh, if you want six portfolios, including uh, a longer term portfolio, really long, um, and some ETFs and an ETF portfolio and some options, uh, go to my paid site. That's jubeckam.com. Thanks very much for watching.